Hello, and this short video will show you how to match a name and address file against a postcode stop list using the match module. So the first thing to do is to look at our input file. And if we open the viewer, you can see here that we have A6 as a postcode, but also, of course, we will have the dollar zip, which the postcode has been parsed into. So if I have a quick look at that, we can see that the dollar zip is, uh, is there, and as we know with postcodes, it will have a space in where it's correctly formatted. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that file through a splurge script, which is going to match a new field, sorry, add a new field called match PC of eight bytes long, and I'm going to replace that or write into that field what the contents of the dollar zip but I'm going to remove spaces. So there we have a space, and I'm going to replace that space with a null character, effectively closing up the space in the postcode field. Okay, so I've done that, and if I now look at the output from that, we can see our match PC field down the bottom, BT29 for GY with no space. Okay. I've now imported my postcode stop list file. So if I look at that, you can see there's no name, names and addresses in it, just postcodes. And again, I'm going to take it into a splurge and add a field the same name as our name and address file called match PC of eight bytes long. And again, I'm going to replace any spaces in that postcode in the supplied stop list with a null character. So again, closing up that space. And here I'm just running a quick selection. Um, if there are any blank postcodes in our postcode stop list, I want to write those to a separate file. I don't want to match those against our name and address file. Um, and the rest I will write to our postcode stop list too. Okay, so we have our name and address file, our customer data, and we have our postcode stop list. So let's add both of those into a match module. Okay, first thing to uh, look at is we want to split out any records that do match from those that don't. So we'll check that box there, split match records. We don't need any of this uh, information down here. We don't need to apply a key um, to say whether a record has matched or not because we're splitting the data out. So the next thing is the tables. Um, two tables, our demo B1, which is our customer database, and our postcode stop list. And we need to tell the match module which one is the lookup table, which in our case will be the stop list. So drop that down and select lookup. Now, if you save at that point, it resets the, the module so it knows which one is the lookup and which one's the input, which uh, affects the ability, you know, which fields are available for matching. In our case, both the input and the lookup link are the match PC field that we created in our splurge earlier and match PC. And that's it. We're not adding any information to the matched records like you would with the lookup table, for example. We're just literally uh, splitting out any records that match against our stop list. So we can save and we can run. OK, so that's finished and it's matched 977 records, which obviously means that for my 948 uh, records, we've matched more. So there are obviously duplicate postcodes within our 10,000 name and address file. Okay, and that's it. So any questions, uh, please get in touch. Thank you.